hello guys uh, welcome to tech design hope everyone is doing great so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how we can make this model uh, by using a single sketch so we'll draw a single sketch and we can just make this uh, model so we also have a drawing for this as you can see here this is our drawing so we will just create a single sketch of this whatever the profile we have here so we'll create this and we'll try to create complete this model so without wasting time let's start the model so i'll just go to file and new so i'll just keep it as a model and click ok so this is our 3d workbench as you can see we have a work coordinate system so i'll just go to sketcher environment and uh, i'll select this plane and I'll click, click ok so now let us focus on only this drawing uh, whatever the sketch we have here so basically as you all know that uh, i will just start the sketch uh, from the uh, you know circles so as you can see here there is a circle uh, with a 12.7 mm diameter and uh, 30 mm diameter so let's go to you know circle and this is uh, 12.7 okay and one more is 30 so both should be concentric okay let's fit this okay so now as you can see here there is a line here which is of a distance of 4.83 so let us draw that now so this is a line and let me go to dimension with a d command and here is 4.83 okay now trim it with a t command so i'm going to trim these extra lines okay this is very simple guys so we have got these circles okay so now as you can see here there is a line here and also there is a line which is tangent to uh, this arc so let me draw those two lines so here is one line and also here one more line and this line should be lying on this x axis so make a you know geometric constraint point on a curve so this point should be lying on this curve also this point should lie on this curve also these two curves should be tangent okay so now let me trim this extra line okay these two are extra lines okay so now we have some dimensions here you can see here 28.4 uh, okay this is not 20.14 and here we have a 30 is 15 mm diameter so which is we have already made the tangency between the circle so which is already a 15 mm we don't need to do with anything so now here is the distance which is 30 mm so we just need to provide the 30 mm so from this point to this point it is 30 mm okay so now let me draw vertical line here okay let me keep it here okay now what we can see here is we have an arc here uh, which is of radius of 10 and uh, the outer radius will be 10 plus this 2.6 which is a thickness so 12.6 and uh, 10 radius arc so let me go to arc here and uh, this arc here two arcs i'm just going to draw those two arcs will start from the same center and now let me go to dimensions so inner circle will be 10 mm and outer will be 12.6 okay so also as you can see here this center point should lie on this uh, you know line so let's go to geometric constraint point on a curve so this point should lie on this curve so this point should also lie on this curve okay so now uh, also this line whatever this second arc we have should be you know tangent to this line so it should be tangent so let me make a geometric constraint and this this should be tangent and let me extend this using e command so it will be extended until that point okay <coughs> so now we can see here there is a line uh, which is tangent to this arc so these two lines and then these two lines i'm going to draw it now so first of all let me go to this and this is tangent line with a slanted and this is also slanted like this and we have a line here so now what i'll do is i'll just draw a line here uh, before going to draw that so these two you know points should be on the same uh, vertical line so let me make an vertical alignment for this and this okay and now let me draw a line here so this is my line and i'll just close this line now okay 
we also need one more you know uh, line here so this line we just need to use it for an extrude so that is why i'm just drawing it so let me trim these extra lines so these are the two extra lines okay so we are having a lot of dimensions here so we just need to provide our dimensions so as you can see here this is 30 mm so the straight line whatever we have is 30 mm so let me draw this 30 mm okay and whatever from this line to uh, this uh, circle center of the circle it is 31 so let me go to dimension from here to here it is 31 <coughs> and what are the dimensions that are left okay let me make this this arc as well so let me go to center sorry arc so i'm going to draw this arc in the same way i'm going to draw one more arc okay so what is the you know uh, as you can see here this is 34 uh, radius so one should be 34 and another one should be 36.6 so let me go to dimensions so let me keep it as a 34 okay so just drag it over here and this point should lie on this point so let me make it as and also this point should lie on this point so we don't need to give this dimension because they are both are concentric so also as you can see here this center point is not you know given any dimensions so now you can see here this center point should lie on this line so first let me go to geometric constraint point on a curve so this point should be on this curve okay and let me draw one more line here and extend these two lines and trim these two lines okay and we also have the dimension for this this is you can see here 25 mm so let me go to dimensions from here to here it is 25 okay yeah so i think we are done with this uh, drawing so let me see where where is these two dimensions okay as you can see here this dimension we have not provided so let me see as you can see here 28.4 from this center to this edge so let's go to from this center to this it is 28.4 okay and also now you can see here there is a radius of r fillet so press f and give it as 4 mm okay and one auto dimension is left as you can see here let me check that okay so this length whatever the height we have here so let us draw give that height as you can see here so from this center to this uh, edge it is 17.6 so let me draw this and to this edge it is 17.6 so let me give this edge it is 17.6 okay so now as you can see our sketch is fully constrained and also uh, we have one more circle here so which is of a diameter of 20 so which is not shown in this draw you know view so we just need to draw that as well so let me go to circle and i'm going to draw 20 diameter circle here and let me trim this extra line okay guys so this is what we have to draw in the single sketch so all the dimensions are given in the single view as you can see here so once it is done we can just click finish okay and now start extruding uh, one by one so let me do that now as you can see here uh, we have this uh, you know uh, flange here so we have this model here so we just need to you know extrude this so i will just select that now first so go to extrude and let me keep it as a zero and this as a one <coughs> and start selecting the curves so these are the curves that i'm going to start selecting okay okay we don't want to select this face so i'm just going to draw select only this one so okay so now we have completely selected 
so now let me give uh, you know um, the dimension for extrude so we can see here this is a 65 mm so overall length is 65 mm and this flange should start from uh, you can see here 25 which is uh, half of this 25 will be 12.5 12 12.5 plus 7.6 so let me give a start point as 12.6 okay sorry guys so it is be 12.5 plus 7.6 okay it is a start point so the end point will be 65 divided by 2 so 65 divided by 2 okay so now as you can see here this is 65 by 2 so let me make in the other direction so I'll just give other direction and I'll just click okay so now as you can see here this uh, whatever the model we have we have got this so now what I'll do is I'll just make this center arc so which is of uh, as you can see here 28 mm so let me go to extrude and let me give the symmetric value of 28 by 2 and now select this okay So it is 28 by 2 and click ok and also I will just make a mirror of this so before going to me do mirror as you can see there is a 20 mm of diameter right so we will just make an extrude of that as well so we can see here we will just select this and this should start from as you can see here 25 mm is the gap so it is 12.5 mm so start point should be 12.5 and end point you don't need to provide this so I'll just give a 20 now so let me reverse it and the end point should always you know intersect with this body and you can just click ok so now we have received this uh, you know we have made this body as well so now what I will do is I'll just make a mirror of these two so let me go to insert and associative copy and mirror feature so which are the features so this and this I'm going to mirror sorry guys not this one this okay and plane so my plane will be this and click ok so now we have got this uh, as well so now we have to do this uh, whatever the flange we have here so which is of 65 mm so let me go to extrude and start selecting this and it should be a symmetric value of 65 by 2 click ok so as you can see here now our uh, almost model is ready so we will just unite this so select any one body and select everything and click ok so it will be united so hit ctrl w and hide everything and show solid body and we also left with some you know edge blend as you can see here radius of 15 so let's go to edge blend and hit value of 15 and select this edge as well as this edge okay and click okay so now as you can see here our model is completely ready as per uh, given uh, dimensions so if you have any doubts guys so please comment in the section below so i will try to answer this hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys please subscribe to my channel and hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you guys